Hi and welcome. Today we are going to be firing up our core and our pelvic floor and this class is prolapse friendly. If you happen to have two yoga blocks, if you want a little more intensity, you can grab a loop resistance band and then something to help you slide on the floor. I'm using a towel on the tile or if you wanted to grab paper plates or gliders for on the carpet. Go grab your things and let's do this. Let's get started in tabletop today. So coming down onto those hands and knees, press down into the tops of your feet. And we're gonna mainly be focusing on our mobility in our pelvis and just starting with some gentle circles. So, so we wanna be really still with the upper back. We don't wanna be moving here. We just wanna be lifting that tailbone up, bring it to the side and then tuck it underneath. And what we're working on when you're coming underneath is you'll feel those lower abs kick on and then kick off. And it's all about training our core and its coordination. It needs to react and respond. And it's such a resilient and adaptable machine. It's just tapping into how it wants to work for us. Good, nice, gentle breaths, tucking underneath. Good for three, two, one more. And then I want you to switch directions. How does switching directions feel? Is it smooth? Is it a little awkward? Can you feel that connection with your core the same way that you could before? Keep pressing into the tops of those feet. Nice work for three, two, last one. Bring it back to that neutral position. And here's where if you happen to have um, the towel or something to glide, I'm just gonna roll up my mats place up and we're gonna start on our right side, coming back into that tabletop position. Press down into the tops of your feet. We're gonna do a combination movement to get our rib cage moving, which is really important to help fire up our core because it allows our diaphragm to expand out to the sides. So we're gonna press into your right hand, take your left arm, spin your left arm up towards the sky. Nice breath in, exhale, bring it back down. We're gonna gently tuck that tailbone underneath, take your right leg, press it, really feel the resistance, drive it back, and then hug it back in. Two more, press that leg back, pull it back in. One more time, drive that leg back, and then hug it in. Take that left arm, sweep your left arm up towards the sky again, and back down. Right leg goes back strong in those arms, press it back. Now you can always come down onto your forearms at any point. You could also use the blocks to be lifted higher or to come down onto those forearms. So lots of different options. It's finding what works best for your body. Nice, bring it back in. Spin that chest open towards the sky and then drop it back down one more time like this. Press it back. and try exhaling like you're blowing out candles. We don't wanna feel any pushing or bearing down. It's this gentle lifting up. Spin that arm, lift it straight up towards the sky, and then bring that back down. Now we're gonna keep that right leg nice and straight. Little tuck underneath, press into the top of that left foot. We're gonna exhale, push the ground away, sink back, and then pull yourself, come forward, Lift the tailbone a little bit. Inhale, exhale, tuck and push. Keep that roundedness the whole time. Pull yourself, come back. Lift that tailbone. Tuck it underneath. Exhale, push, come back. Inhale, lift. Now seeing how it feels on this side for when we go ahead and switch to the other side. No pushing, no bearing down, no bulging out the lower abs. All controlled by our breath for three. Nice job. Two. Last one. Good, and bring that leg back in. And then we're gonna switch it over to the other side. 
Keep pressing into those palms. Take your right arm, spin your right arm open towards the sky. Drop that back underneath. Left leg goes back. Drive through that heel. Hug it back in. Press it back. Hug it back in. Nice job. Spin your chest open. Drop it back down. Press through the heel, press into the top of that right shin. Sweep that arm lifted up and then bring that back down. Now we're gonna take that left leg, drive your left leg straight back, little tuck of those hips coming under, slide it back, exhale, inhale, lift that tailbone. Push it back. Lift the tailbone. Feel that connection with the deep lower abs, our middle abs, our upper abs, all working together here. Sometimes it's a little harder to feel the connection, especially from that pubic bone to belly button area. We're gonna go through one more time on this side. Nice job. Bring that back in. All right, let's straighten out. If you folded your mat like me. And then we're gonna come down onto our stomachs. Come all the way down. Let your head get heavy. You can rest on your forearms. If you've got a block and you wanna rest down, I'm just gonna stay up so that you can hear me. We're gonna bend our knees, pull them in, and scoot your knees out so they're about mat distance apart. You're gonna exhale, squeeze, push the heels together, lift the hips up, and then drop it back down. Exhale, squeeze and lift, and then drop back down using your breath. Now, if you're feeling this in the low back, try to squeeze the heels a little bit more and think of driving the heels up towards the ceiling. The other thing you could do is you could take a pillow and put that underneath your pelvis so that you're not in such an extended position. But we want the glutes firing up here. Now the legs may lift off the ground, they might not, they might not go very far, and that's okay, because the goal is we wanna feel this in our glutes, that exhale connection, our glutes and our pelvic floor work together. Keep using your breath, nice job. Okay, we're gonna do 10 more of these. Soften your upper body, let your head get super heavy. Nice job, squeeze those heels for four, three, two, last one. Straighten out through those legs, come back up. Now if you've got the block, we're gonna come back down to our stomachs. So added, putting the block in between your knees. And then we're also, if you want that added resistance, you can put the band around your ankles, but you don't need this because you can still feel those muscles fire up. So that block goes in between our knees. We're coming all the way back down to our stomachs, resting the head down. We're gonna bend our knees, those feet face the ceiling. On your exhale, you're gonna squeeze the block and then pull the ankles away from each other. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, squeeze that block, bring them out. And then back in. Careful you're not overarching through your back. You want to think of the tailbone lengthening down towards the bottom of your mat. Working on our hip rotators directly connects to our core and our pelvic floor. One of your hip rotator muscles connects into the pelvic floor muscles. Nice work. Notice, does one leg go further than the other leg? Is the control the same? Can you feel those muscles fire up the same from one side to the next? Nice job. Same thing, we got 10 more here. A 
Last one. Nice job. Now hold that last one out there. Hold it, use your breath. And then slowly bring that back in. Prop yourself, come back up. And then we can take that block out rid of that resistance band option. You can sink those hips back into child's pose, kind of wiggle those hips out. If you want to lift, come up into a down dog. That's also an option. Either position, we're breathing out to the sides of our rib cage. Thinking sit bones lifting, exhale, letting it all go. Two more breaths just like that. Exhale, let it go. Nice work. And then when you're ready, we're just gonna make our way towards the front of your mat. Pressing into your feet, lift, come all the way up. Hands come back down towards heart center. So we're gonna really work on keeping our rib cage over our pelvis. We're gonna take the right foot, step your right foot back into a little bit of a shorter lunge. We're gonna hinge forward over the front thigh. Those arms come by your side, squeeze your shoulder blades together, spread your toes, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Slowly start to shift your weight forward over that left leg option. You can do a toe tap. You can bring that right knee towards your chest and we're gonna stack our forearms on top of each other. Think of pressing the forearms towards each other in a gentle twist. And as you're exhaling, we're feeling that gentle lifting up. All the muscles of your core kicking on. Watch, are you gripping your toes on the left? Try to soften. Push through the mound of your big toe. Take that leg, step it back. Arms sweep back, squeeze those shoulder blades. Drive into the left foot so that left foot does all the work. Press into that foot, come all the way up. Stack those forearms, exhale, and twist. Nice job. Two more times, send it back. All about your control. If you need to be nearby something to hold on, you can do that as well. We wanna be careful we're not coming way back here. Keep stacking, exhale, gentle twist. Back through towards center, last one. Left booty definitely firing up. Nice, bring it back through to center. And then step that back. Sweep those arms, lift up. Exhale, hands come down. We switch to the other side. So the left leg goes back. We're gonna hinge forward over your right thigh. Pull the right hip back, fire up those shoulder blades. The right leg does all the work here. Slowly transition forward. Now that toe tap or the knee towards your chest. Stack the arms the opposite way and twist. Back through to center, send it back. It's getting all of our movements to coordinate together. Press into that right foot. Twist. Throughout our day, we're constantly bending, twisting, lifting. So it's getting our muscles to fire up how we want them to. So we can continue that throughout our day. Press into that right foot. Stack those forearms. Gentle lift up. And back to center. It's listening to what feels best for your body. Last one. Gentle twist. Back through to center. Step it back. Now options, we can step back into plank on your knees, plank on your toes. Nice, gentle breath in. We're gonna lower everything all the way down. Inhale, pull yourself, lift up. And then press, lift up onto those hands. Now we're gonna come down onto our forearms. Keep pressing into the arms. Take your right leg, send your right leg straight back behind you. Hips are gonna face the ground. We're gonna peel that right hip open. Drive your right knee towards your right elbow. Drive the heel back, lower the hip back down. Open up and then drop it back down. Feel the core press into that left hip coordination with our pelvis, our low back, our hips. Nice job. For three, two, last one. Good work. Now we're just gonna switch to the other side. 
Press into the top of that right shin. Take your left leg, send it back. Drive through that back heel. Peel the hip open. Bring that knee towards your elbow. Send it back, drop the hip down. Good job. How does this side feel compared to your other side? That exhale like you're blowing out candles can really help you connect to your core. We're gonna do one more after this. Nice job. Both knees come all the way back down. And then we're just gonna sink the hips, come back into that child's pose. Maybe you wanna grab hold of those blocks and just prop yourself up onto the blocks. Sink the hips down, but we're not trying to drop the chest, we're active in the arms. Lift the tailbone, spread those sit bones apart. So we just worked our core, now we're sending some breath just to soften to that area. Hey, stop. Open those sit bones, send your breath all the way down, pelvic core muscles, one more breath in here. And gently pull yourself, come all the way back up. And then we're gonna just take those legs, stretch those legs straight out in front. And roll those hips in, roll the hips to the outside. Nice job. And then bring yourself back, finding a comfortable seated position, and checking in, just seeing how everything's connected. Our hips and our glutes are connected to our core and our pelvic floor, and our breath is so important for all of that. Let's take a nice big cleansing breath and lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center, thanking your body for your practice. If you enjoyed this video, let me know down below in the comments. And if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.